we are going to look at using a file transfer program on a Mac. We'll have a separate video for Windows. Um, so there's a couple different choices that you have. One is Cyberduck and if you search for uh, Cyberduck file transfer and that'll take you to Cyberduck.io and you want to download for Mac. There's a download link for Mac. You'll download that zip file. It comes up and you get a, after you unzip the file, you'll get the Cyberduck program, drag that over to your applications, then you'll open Cyberduck. Okay, so the idea is that you may be um, want to work on files on your own computer with Python installed on your own computer um, and then you want to transfer to the server to turn them in. Alright, so if we open Cyberduck um, I already have Cyberduck open over here then let's open a connection. Um, so I'm going to do a SFTP, so secure file transfer. Um, this is going to cs.indstate.edu. You have your whatever your username is and whatever your password is. And when you connect, you will see your files that are on the server. You will probably get a message asking you to confirm a certificate or a fingerprint, so you'll say OK to that. And then you can browse around your files here. And you can actually edit those files from the computer, but um, you can do that. But the, just for the basics, you want to be able to transfer back and forth. So if I had, let's say that we have the H, H3 files, say, that we checked out on the server, and now we want to work on them on our computer. So I transferred them over here. And to see those, I'm going to show in Finder. And there they are. So now I could open these up in Idle or whatever, right? Whatever text editor you want to use to work on them over here. You can work on it over here run the code. This obviously is not a uh, complete code, but once you get your your code finished and you're ready to send it back to the server, then you can drag it the other way. So this is my finder and I can drag it over to my Cyberduck window. And do I want to replace? Okay, so that's that's the basics. You can click around to see other things you can do with Cyberduck, or you can use other uh, secure file transfer programs. Another option that you have without installing anything at all is using your terminal. So in the terminal, there's a, you can look at your files. I have a couple of Python files here. If I want to send those to the server, um, there's a program SFTP, and you run it. <clears throat> you start it just like SSH, but now the command is SFTP, and if you do LS, it's showing me the files on the computer, so on the server. This is not, I can't type nano here, 
I can just do ls. I can change directories. And I can also ls for local ls. I can lcd um, whatever this, what was this? Files for CS151. Okay, so LCD LLS for what I'm looking at on my computer, and LS and CD for what I'm looking at on the server. Um, so if I want to send this, let's say I want to send this grading3.py that's on my computer, then the command for that is put grading3.py. And the place it's going to put it is the directory and I can do pwd for print working directory so it's putting it in the h4 and my lpwd is that's the directory so I have two directories the local computer and the remote server ls cd pwd all works on the server. I can do lls lcd lpwd for the commands on the directory on my computer. If I want to send a file that's put If I want to download a file, it's get.